time for a Christmas challenge. And today, we will be wrapping each other in wrapping paper. So, it's time to wrap. Uh, how do I stop? <laughs> Can you hold it? Yeah, can you hold on? <laughs> oh no, the whole thing's come off the face. This is going well so far. I don't like these papers. This isn't going well because it's already got a rip in the middle of it. <laughs> In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, O favoured one, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at the saying, and tried to discern what sort of greeting this might be. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favour with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. He will be great, and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob for ever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Who do you think you are? How would you describe yourself? What defines you? What makes you, you? Well, if he hasn't figured out he's a human by now, I don't think he ever will. I'll be okay, I just need a glass of water. Have you seen the film Elf? It's about this guy called Buddy who's raised by Santa's elves. He spent his whole life thinking he was an elf, acting like an elf, trying to fit in with the other elves, but it wasn't who he was. The truth is, he, he wasn't an elf. And when he realised this, his world came crashing down. He didn't know who he was. But over time, he discovered his identity. He found out where he came from and where he belonged. The Christmas story begins with us finding out who Jesus is. The angel comes to Mary and explains that she is being given the gift of a baby. This baby has an amazing identity. 
His name is Jesus, which means God rescues. He's the son of God and king forever. What an amazing identity. From the very beginning of his life on earth, Jesus' identity was made clear. But sometimes we lose clarity. We lose sight of who we are. We forget our worth and our purpose. Like Buddy, we don't know where we belong. Well, I guess that's one of the awesome things about this part of the Christmas story. Because by coming to earth, by becoming one of us, Jesus really could be God rescuing us. And in John chapter 1, we find out that Jesus came to restore our identity as children of God. The king of the universe came to earth, becoming a baby, living as one of us and inviting us into God's family. This should tell us that we are valued, that we have a purpose, that we're worth loving and that we belong. Heavenly Father, thank you for Jesus. Thank you for sending him to restore our identity. Thank you that in him we are your children. Help us to remember that we are loved, valued, and have a purpose. Amen. It's time to live it. This Christmas time, remember that you are loved, you are valued, and you have a purpose. Step up to the challenge and discover who you are.